watching Thrifty Kniffy. Hello everyone and welcome to Thrifty Kniffy. Well, today we're going to be doing a Rough Rider review. We're going to be taking a look at this white smooth bone lockback, but before we do, I got to give a shout out to Randy and he runs a shop over on Etsy. If you run over to etsy.com backslash shop backslash EDC Leatherworks, you can find his products. He's got a lot of leather stuff and his wife makes the handkerchiefs. And he sent me some stickers here as well as this awesome, awesome coffin slip. Really digging this thing. Me being a metalhead, I really like anything kind of uh, skull and crossbones and, you know, death metal kind of thing. Kind of funny. But that uh, I just saw a, a, uh, a short by Randy and it had uh, some Quiet Riot music in it. And I was laughing to myself because... That's not exactly what I would expect when you you see uh, Randy's videos, but it was uh, it was a trip to see that. Kind of cool that he's also into music like that. Here's the back of the uh, the slip here. It says EDC Leatherworks, so it's got their little logo there. It's kind of the same as this right here. But thank you, Randy. That's really cool. Got a cool lanyard on there, and yeah, it fits this knife really well. So. It's kind of nice that I was going to be reviewing something like that today. Real good fit on that one. And yeah, I'll definitely use this sheath much cooler than some of the other ones I've got. So that'll probably take place uh, of some of the ones <coughs> that I use somewhat regularly. Excuse me. So yeah, thank you so much. Georgia Adventure is his YouTube page. So make sure you can go over there and watch his videos. Then of course, go shop on Etsy. Again, that web address is www.etsy.com backslash shop backslash EDC Leatherworks. You can find both the handkerchiefs and the leather products on that page. Very recently priced. And uh, so, yeah, go over there and buy something from Randy. All right, so let's move on to the review. Let's quick look at the packaging here. We've got the gold style, orange style Rough Rider box with the 25-year little blurb here on the side of the box back to back R logo China country of origin and the cancer warning model number RR135 there you go so if we take a closer look at what we're looking at here SMKW is calling this a small lockback okay and the close length is three and five eighths inches on this particular model, we've got the white smooth bone. They offer this particular pattern in a lot of different handle options. Um, and I actually own a few of those, and we'll probably look at those at some point in the future. But I do really like this pattern. It's just very similar to the Bruin that I have from Old Timer. Uh, not too unlike the knife that Jersey recently sent me, the Boker, with a nice gray handle. And if you want to look at that review, make sure you go check that out. But we have the white smooth bone on this one, and you can see the nice color changing in here, the little speckles of black in the bone there. Really makes for an interesting uh, handle color, you know, when they leave it like this. I'm a big fan of the white smooth bone from Rough Rider. I have several knives in this particular handle material. One of the, my favorites being the sow belly that I bought, Smoky Mountain Knife Works. Very sentimental, sentimental knife to me. And uh, the handle material is extremely similar to that knife. Now this side does appear to be just slightly darker. So we could just quickly kind of compare. Kind of try to memorize what that looks like, right? And then <laughs> back again. This is a little bit darker. Just ever so slightly. But I like that uh, sort of a yellowish off-white color too. So very attractive. And then it's got a little bit of a, a smudge back here. I don't know if that's uh, I don't know if that's polishing compound that will come out come out if I tried to wash that up with a little like uh, glass plus or something. But uh, if not, I'll be fine with it either way. Kind of adds a little color to it. But one nice thing I see about this knife that could potentially be a problem is that. The pins are rather close to the edge on the handle, and you do often get cracks when the pins are that close. And I'm not seeing any on here, so that's a good thing. So they did a really good job pinning this. Transitions to the bolsters are super smooth. You've got really smooth edges around the 
perimeter of the knife handle and uh, also at the front here where it has a tendency to kind of be edgy at times and I'm not feeling anything like that the spring is nice and flush in the closed position or actually the locking mechanism I should say you got some brass liners here and you know up here at the top you can see that there is a little bit of a gap it's not a hundred percent perfectly even but I do allow for a little more leniency when it comes to lockbacks because that that mechanism does need to pivot and move in order to for the knife to operate smoothly and this one does I'm happy to say and we'll take a closer look at that as well but I like the shape of this bolster you can see how that little recess in there creates a finger choil when you open the blade locking mechanisms easy to push you can see that's not requiring a lot of effort there to open that mechanism up so I'm very happy with that and I'm happy with the way they've rounded everything off feels very comfortable in the hand if we open that up I'm not feeling any edginess on the interior of the bolsters here or excuse me the interior of the bolster and the, the handle along the line are there a lot of times you can kind of get like a really 90 degree edge on the interiors there and that feels nice and smooth smooth up here where the choil would be which is important because that's where you're going to be putting your finger so that's good and you got this nice mirror finished drop point blade and if we take a to total length on that guy we're looking at just about two and three quarters all the way up the tang then we got a cutting edge of about two and a quarter good look at the blade edge there Let's see if we can get it this way it might be a little better yeah the lighting's a little better here so that's not bad for an edge grind there it's a little heavier at the tip you can see just up in here we got a little heavy there at the top but it looks pretty even across the length and then if we flip it over let me hold it over here it's pretty consistent on this side they didn't flub up the tip quite as bad on this side so that looks pretty good and i'm betting this will cut pretty good probably has a pretty good edge on it so yeah i'm pretty impressed with that so that's cutting right through that stuff no problem whatsoever so good good edge on that straight out of the box uh, let's take a look at the tang we've got the back-to-back -back r tang stamp which is pretty typical of the ones you'll you'll buy that uh aren't the most recent ones we put this tank stamp on quite a few knives and then it says rough rider underneath that back-to-back -back r there then on this side we've got the 440 razor sharp on the blade here razor sharp steel which is the 440a on this blade and the mirror polish on it then you've got the model number here rr135 in china below it of course that being the country of origin look at the spine how that tapers off let's see we'll check the blade wobble not feeling any rock either direction side to side or up and down so that's solid let's look at your uh, match strike pull pretty good spot for it if you see how it rests in there right dab in the middle there easy to pull easy to open and then of course you got that finger choil there makes for a really good grip I have like a medium to large hand and uh, it does kind of start to come off of that final bit I'm kind of just kind of holding on to this corner here but uh, up here at the top so I do get a good grip that uh, that choil really provides a really good place to choke up and it's comfortable where my thumb position is so I feel like I have a lot of control over this knife and I could probably put a lot of uh, force behind it so I'm pretty confident and uh, without that having any way of locking down on me but then in the lock position or coming down on me in the lock position I feel very confident in use of this knife I've got a total length with that blade open one two three four five six six and a quarter six and a quarter inches and if you happen to get one of Randy's slips I've noticed 
that this thing is an awesome fit for that. So, definitely uh, one that I could use with it. Again, that's a 3 and 5 eighths inch length knife, and this is really designed for that sort of size. Now, I've seen Randy with his pictures uh, have knives that come out maybe about a quarter inch that you can grab. I've I found it's easy enough just to pinch it at the bottom, and you can slide it right out, no problem. So, yeah, that would definitely work and might replace a different slip than I'm using now. Just really like that, by the way. Just so super cool. Uh, so thanks again, Randy, for that. But, yeah, this knife is just very much like uh, a carry that I already use. And so I knew I was going to like it even before I got hold of it. And Rough Rider makes quite a different number of different handles for this one. You can go back and try to find some older ones. They've They've been making this knife for quite a while. I know I have some older ones too that have the older script style tang. So maybe in the future we'll be looking at some of those as well. But yeah, just this, this is a really, really nice pattern, I think, from Rough Rider. And they're just $12 for this particular one. And you can also get this at Chicago Knife Works for even cheaper. It's $10.54. So between the affordability and uh, I think the usability of this knife, it makes for a very good value, very EDC friendly. It can fit in a slip or straight into the pocket if you wish, and has you know a blade that's locking, so you're confident and a good way to grip this knife. Gives you a lot of purchase for the length of the handle because of that choil. So I'm. Pretty, pretty satisfied with this knife, especially for, you know, under $12. So take a look at this if that's something you're interested in. Again, the model number for this particular one is RR135. But that's going to do it for my review, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. Make sure you hit that bell. Me made aware of videos when they drop. And, of course, always hit that like button so that these videos can get viewed by the most amount of people. And that encourages people to watch. And that helps you, the viewer because it helps me provide you more content. So we'll see you next time. Thanks again for watching. Take care.